Virgo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in energy and see what's happening for the lovely Virgo collective in their season, might I add. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing fabulous, my friends. Let's get it going. My guides, talk to me. What do we have for these lovely Virgos in early September? What energies, messages, insights can we look at? And yeah, we're just going to take a quick peek at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what kind of shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for the Virgos. And while we get this first card out, I just want to once again wish you all a very happy birthday. Whether it's just past, whether it's still coming up, I hope you have a fabulous one, my friends. And be safe and have fun. Okay, so this is a very self-reflective type of energy and card. So for a lot of Virgos, you could be doing a lot of reflection. This card also links to the past as well. Makes sense, especially around your birthday season, to be reminiscing a little bit, thinking on years past. But before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the September subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about this card because I always find it super intriguing because it's a soft, simple type of imagery. But it's, I mean, there's a lot contained within. Now, we see this lovely lady in the center. She has her eyes closed. Uh, could possibly be daydreaming. I always think it's very self-reflective, whether it's like thinking about yourself, taking stock of the year that's just passed. To me, it also links in like the Six of Cups. Okay, so whether it's a person you have a lot of history with, thinking about memories, lots of things coming back up, because notice she's also holding a locket. There's like a baby doll here, so there's a lot of links to the past. This could also represent communication as well, especially with the, the letters and notes that are shown here. So there's like a depth here. There's multi-layers within this. Now, for some of you, if we're going to keep it simplistic, Maybe you're just uh, in the brain a little more than you normally are, okay? And I'm not talking about, like, strict logical thinking. It's more like imaginative, fantasizing type of energy as well. But we're just going to put it down here. And I always say this first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. So we'll let her keep daydreaming. We'll let her keep self-reflecting. Let's get into tarot. And, yeah, that could be someone else. It's always important to remember. But, yeah, let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for the beautiful Virgos, please, in their birthday season. What messages do we got? And yeah, while we get this shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. It was titled A Serious Situation. Now, normally when that type of energy comes through, it's either one of two things for a good chunk of you. Maybe there is a situation that is quite serious to you or something that you are taking seriously. But there's also that little undertone of like, all right, well, there might be something you need to take a closer look at. There's something that you shouldn't laugh off. That was kind of a big energy that was showing up. So let's see what happens this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So I take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or somebody else. Let's get it going. Three cards here to start. What do we got for the Virgos? Please, in their birthday season. Very quick, first card out, two of cups, nice partnerships. That's a nice flowing type of energy. So I like to start off a reading with this type of vibe. Let's get that right there. Let's get two more, then we'll start piecing this together. What's going on with Virgo? Temperance, so patience. Notice like there's a lot of angel wings showing up here in the imagery, right? This could be nice. That's a very protective type of energy. Let's get one more. Waiting on something or somebody's waiting on something there we go we have the page of cups so this is a big theme in a lot of the earth signs this week in particular actually all the signs there's been a huge um, centering around communication and it's no different here with that page of cups on the back end so let's go through i'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes then we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff so at first look first glance i'm seeing a couple of themes here obviously on the split ends we have a lot of water now water in tarot represents emotion feeling imaginative energy remember i said this one to me felt like the six of cups so we have this theme that's starting to show up you might be in feelers a little more than you normally are now that's not always a bad thing but like the emotions feel heightened for one reason or another 
In the center, we have the beautiful temperance card, Sagi energy, but that's also the Archangel Michael. So there's a spiritual protection aspect here as well. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out because I feel like we have a few different puzzle pieces we want to connect together. But if you kindly look in the box, position number one, the two of cups. Now, I said to me, this is a very smooth, easy flowing energy. And that's what I like about this. Even if you're going through certain things that are trying your patience, all of this energy seems to be in a state of flow. Like it's not stagnant. It's not going too quick. It's just going with the flow, which is cool. I mean, I'm sure you could tell by my vibe. I like that vibe. I like that chill go with the flow type of mix. But yeah, the two of cups, as with all twos, could represent partnerships, uh, decisions, choices, all those sorts of things, being at a crossroads in life sometimes. But this one has an emphasis on partnerships, especially with these two people sharing those cups. This could represent soul ties, soul connections. Not always romance, but of course it can be. It's just somebody that you, one, either have a lot of history with, or there's a very, very deep emotional bond. Now, if we were to break this down simplistically, when I see the two of cups, it could just be highlighting this person's energy. It doesn't even necessarily have to be yours, but it can also be speaking about the connection itself. So we'll want to see. Now, when we get into the challenge of the two of cups, I'm sure you could guess it. In the upright, it's so super smooth and easy flowing. The challenge of it could represent issues with a person that you have a lot of care for. So we really want to see the clarifier and what it tells us. Um, but there is a very strong caring here. That's just how it's presenting itself to me. Now, moving to the center, we have temperance. Now, this card is a bit of an anomaly because I told you it's Sagittarius energy. And Saggy energy is normally the total opposite of this patient temperance. And no, no disrespect towards the Saggies. I'm a fire sign myself. I totally get it. We're usually on the move, on the go. Um, but temperance, you see, it's very calm. It's patient. The positives of this with Archangel Michael, this is spiritual defense, spiritual protection. So maybe some of you need that reassurance that, like, listen, you are spiritually protected, or this is someone from the other side watching over you, which is a beautiful thing. It's like a guardian angel, literally. Now, temperance, again, is patience it's letting something flow letting it go how it's going to go not forcing anything just letting something just move how it needs to move whether it's a healing journey whether it is a connection whether it's a conversation i don't want to say it's like yeah, it is what it is to me it's more of like all right well i'm just i'm in a flow state here which can be good <clears throat> pardon me now it is about patience but another thing i will say when we get to the challenge of temperance it could either be someone that's very impatient where it's like right, i'm done waiting or i'm tired of going through a process temperance can also be stagnation like something that's like very stagnant not moving so we want to see one more message while we grab this page of cups when i see temperance notice archangel michael there is spilling water from cup to cup this kind of indicates some sort of spiritual alchemy so for some of you if you're not on some sort of spiritual path to me this indicates something that's bubbling under the surface that hasn't presented itself but it's on the way now onto the back end here we have the page of cups lovely now this could be a water sign you're connected to so cancer pisces scorpio uh, when pages show up, they represent new, they represent youthfulness, uh, they could represent an energy that's not fully developed yet, and we'll talk about that when we get to the weaknesses. If this isn't a person or a younger individual you're connected to, all pages are students, so they're learning things, they're learning lessons, or putting their energy into new ventures. Or it's communication, specifically this one with the cup, because it's offering that cup. It's telling you how it feels. So we could be looking at a conversation of some sort for sure when we have this page of cups. Now, when we get to the challenge of the page of cups, sometimes it could be emotional suppression. Sometimes it could be someone that's a little shy, someone that's, yeah, just not making a move for whatever reason. It's very bashful. Um, the page of cups, like I mentioned a little earlier, all pages aren't fully developed energy yet. It's still learning. It's still going through a process. So I want to dive deeper on all this, Virgo. Let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Let's get a good shuffle here for my Virgo friends. What's happening, my gods? What is going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Two of Cups. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Virgo, you can drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, Two of Cups time. Why is it here for Virgo? Please. Thank you. 
yeah, there it is. So some someone reemerging, and I saw this in part in the Capricorn reading. Now I'm seeing it in yours. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This could be very good. Now for some of you, this could represent a very solid individual that has either been part of your life's journey for a long time, or it's someone that's extremely dependable. Maybe this dependable energy is yours as well. But when we see the Eight of Cups in the upright, normally it's walking away from something. It's leaving something behind. It's on to the next thing. When we see it in reverse, it's not going nowhere. So when I see the Two of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse, it's like, no, I'm here. I didn't go anywhere. I'm still here type of energy, which can be really nice. Uh, and, but another thing I'm picking up here, aside from that message, which is beautiful, especially if it's tied into spirit, when I see the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's something cycling back around. So don't be surprised, my friends, with this underneath the Two of Cups, if a person that you may have lost touch with reemerges. And I saw this at the back end of the Capricorn reading. Now it's showing up in your reading. So this seems to be an Earth sign theme in, in recent weeks. Now, I know I saw it in Fire Signs recently as well. But yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse, it's either those two things. Either this is a dependable energy that never left or isn't going anywhere. Or it could be someone re-emerging, someone or something. Now, that can also go in regards to situations, maybe something that you've dealt with in the past, something you're familiar with, comes back around. I just want to bring your attention back to this very, very first card that we had here in the beginning, which represented history and doing a lot of reminiscing. So this makes total sense to me. Does it feel bad? Absolutely not. It doesn't feel like a bad thing to me. So we're just going to keep moving forward. I feel like that message is very simple, straightforward. Either that's a very dependable person or it's them or a situation making a big return. So let's go in on temperance. Let's see what temperance is here for Virgo. We're just going to keep this train moving. So why is temperance here for my friends? What's going on here? Thank you. Okay, lovely. Very spiritual type of energy mysterious energy here on the bottom with the eight of cups and now the high priestess big water sign energy showing up once again so if you're tied to water signs they're showing up here in two very prominent ways now the high priestess she to me represents mystery yes it's your intuition but she is highly spiritual see she's the matron of psychics intuitives tarot readers so for a lot of you if you're going through a trying time you could find a lot of solace in spiritual works now i know not every single person is a spiritually inclined individual a lot of people that watch are i know this because i look through the comments and see i know a lot of you are very educated and experienced when it comes to spirituality but not everyone's interested right everyone's built different I'm just saying this, when I see temperance and the high priestess in the center, this is a very powerful, potent combination of spirituality or ties to the spirit side, okay? So for some of you, maybe this is your guides or guardian angel. There's someone watching over you still watching here. For some of you, this could be a message of solace in the front end, because remember I did say, I'm not going anywhere, I'm still here. Now we have this strong watching over you type of energy which is beautiful it's actually giving me little goosebumps as i'm doing this and that rarely happens when i film readings now aside from that message that i'm picking up there virgo which is beautiful by the way when i see the high priestess she is very mysterious okay and when she's underneath this temperance card to me it's something that might go way better than you think it will Okay, so just know there could, whether it's this individual, whether it's something totally different, this could be yet again more reassurance where spirit's saying like, listen, Virgo, calm down, take a breath, be chill, go with the flow, because remember, this is water energy as well. Everything will be okay. Like, even if you don't know how, everything will be fine. Okay, it's like focus on the end result, not the journey there. Okay, so we're getting very potent messages for you this week, Virgo. Only take them how they hit. But let's move in on the page of cups and see what's up and then we'll do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow card this is a deep reading it's a very deep reading for those of you that it's resonating with i'm sure because if it's giving me like jolts of energy i'm sure it's doing that for others so let's see what that page of cups is about <clears throat> and we'll get into the recap so why is the page here why is the page here again Again, so a lot of themes similar through a lot of the earth signs here. We have the seven of swords in reverse. Now, there could be something here about honesty, um, keeping real with somebody. So just know, like, don't feel like you have to bite your tongue in regards to anything. If you're having certain conversations, uh, it's very important to be straightforward and honest with an individual because this can be a talk of importance we're picking up here on the back end. Seven of swords, when it's in its upright form, is usually a card that is shrouded. So notice all of this is underlying mysterious type of energy. 
Um, it could also represent someone that's a little untrustworthy when it's in the upright, someone that's trying to pull one over. So when I see it in reverse, either it's something coming to light. So again, with this energy cycling back around, we have a double on this extreme ends of things coming back around, people returning. And of course, this could be a talk or conversation that's unexpected or surprising. It comes out of nowhere, which has been a big theme for a lot of the Zodiac, not just Earth signs this week. So again, I feel for a lot of you, very important to just speak the truth, speak your truth, don't bite your tongue, no point. Okay, I don't know why it's coming through like that. Don't be afraid to say what you gotta say. But aside from that, it, it kind of mirrors what we have here. Okay, so the, this could be multiple returns showing up here. We have a lot of interesting things happening in your, in your reading this week, Virgo. So let's just leave it at that for now. And again, maybe this is somebody letting you know something you didn't know previously. That's very possible. But let's go through and do a quick recap, then we'll get into the shadow card. I feel like I can continue reading just these six cards and pull like another 30 minutes of messages. That's how potent this feels. But let's go through before the shadow. Position number one, we have the two of cups with the eight of cups in reverse. I boiled it down to pretty simple. Either one, this is someone very important or someone you have a bond with, swinging back around, making a big return. Or this is an extremely dependable energy that has never left and will never leave. It's like, I'm here. Like, I'm here. There is no eight of cups. My energy is tied. Moving to the center, we have my, the Archangel Michael on temperance, the protective energy with the high priestess. I spoke about finding solace in spiritual practices, which could be very important for a lot of you in this time. But I also got this uh, guardian angel type of energy. And that's a message I don't often give. I don't know if I ever gave it like that in my career of reading personal readings or otherwise so it's like someone actively watching over you uh, which could be really nice but again i'm also getting the vibe of something going better like a reassurance like don't worry about how you're gonna get there everything will be okay like just worry about the end goal don't worry about the journey moving to the back end we have the page of cups with the seven of swords in reverse speak your truth be honest doesn't matter who you're talking to in this time don't feel like you have to bite your tongue about anything say what you gotta say um, I know Virgos are normally very straightforward types of individuals and spirits telling you to embrace that. But again, this could also represent an energy cycling back around or talks you weren't expecting to have things popping up that you weren't expecting to discuss. So please take a screenshot of that if you want to look into it further. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. I mean, I'd have to say, even though there are a lot of similar themes for like other signs, this one showed in a very unique type of way, very unique reading. So what do we have here for my Virgo friends? It's like similar themes, but totally unique in its energy. And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. <clears throat> and yes, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, shadow card time. What is in the shadows for Virgo? What is in the shadows? Thank you. Three of Swords. Okay, very common to have the Three of Swords show up in the shadows. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with tarot and the symbolism, it's usually that picture of the Three Swords cutting through the heart. It's a little different in this deck. And when we're looking at shadows and shadow work, it can talk about something that you're still holding on to. Um, even if it's not something you address daily, even if it's not something you fully undercovered, shadow work does bring about Three of Swords energy, and I see it often in a lot of different shadow cards. So yeah, there could still be something that's bugging you. It could be on a spectrum. It could be something very minor, something from a very long time ago that's still nagging at you. But at the same time, there could still be pain that's showing up in the shadow side. And when I see this, especially with the energies we're picking up within the reading itself, it could be spirit telling you like, hey, Virgo, now could be a great time to dive into some shadow work when this shows up. So I like it. I feel like it's good and I feel like it's simple. So we're just going to leave it at that. Some of you, this could just be a person that's going through something and they're not speaking about it. But yeah, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the September subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the September subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time. The beautiful wizard's tarot it's gorgeous and it works great so if you'd like to get your name in for this it's two simple things as always my friends first you must be subscribed and second let me know down in the comments where would you like to go for your dream vacation what are you manifesting let me know let's bring it to fruition you'll be entered to win and at the end of the month the winners will be announced in the community tab as always my friends 
much love and I'll see you again.